these are pretty much the talk right now, you know, considering petrol and all that has gone up and charging an EV seems like a more enticing thing at the moment. So I've seen a few around, you know, I'm keen to drive a few also, but I want to learn a little bit more about them. Well, you see my one here every day, right? Yeah, pretty much. I look at it, <laughs> give it a quick look, it's like, yeah, no, this is a nice ride, definitely. But, you know, I want to know the internal bits, the guts, basically. So that being said, like, what is an EV battery made of? I've heard like the lithium ion or something like that. Yeah, so, so uh, most EV batteries, all EV batteries, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. um, are lithium ion. Um, okay. which contains uh, chemicals like lithium in the name. You've heard about the cobalt mining up in Africa, oh, yeah. uh, uh, etc., which is, which is you know, part of the you know, big discussions that, that are happening in terms of uh, cobalt mining. Mm. Uh, but basically, they're chemicals inside the battery, and uh, chemicals inside the battery react with each other. And okay. when that reaction occurs within the lithium-ion battery, the uh, charge is either stored in the battery or released. So, you know, lithium-ion battery effectively is there to store energy for future use. As you're saying, so these are chemical reactions, yeah? So within those chemical reactions, we get energy, but is there maybe a byproduct or something? So the byproduct of any chemical chemical reaction, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a scientist, uh, mm. but any chemical reaction creates heat. Oh. And that is a natural byproduct of the chemical reaction that even happens within the EV battery. Okay. Even this principle of thermal runaway, which... Thermal runaway? So, so thermal runaway is where the, 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 if the battery catches fire, that heat reaction, now it's very, EV batteries are very, very uh, um, combustive. They, they, yeah. they can burn very, very quickly. And then you, you get what's called thermal runaway. But we, you know, forget about thermal runaway for, for a second, but the natural yeah. effect of the reaction of the lithium, cobalt, and chemicals within the battery yeah. in holding energy or storing energy for later release and then releasing that energy um, is, uh, is heat. Uh, so it's constant in and out, in and out, and then it just it ebbs and flows in that sense. Yes. Uh, yes. I see, I see. So, considering that we're taking heat into account, you know, there's certain tolerances in terms of heat, but then what's the natural or normal, let's say, operating temperature of an EV battery then, if that's the case? It's a good question because people don't know that the normal operating temperature of a lithium-ion battery is actually room temperature. Oh. What is room temperature? Probably in the 20 degrees somewhere. Probably, you know, mm. most of us are comfortable at around 22 degrees. So, mm. so lithium ion batteries are uh, designed to operate at about room temperature. So the moment you go above room temperature uh, in a lithium ion or, or with a lithium ion battery, and that would be in the 30 degrees. So if you yeah. get to 31, 32, 35, 40 degree heat, um, you start subjecting the lithium-ion battery to uh, temperatures that it wasn't necessarily designed to operate in. Mm. And similarly with temperatures lower than about 20 degrees. The lithium-ion battery isn't necessarily designed to operate at those lower temperatures. So high and low temperatures are not great for a, a lithium-ion battery. And where do we live? South Africa. South Africa. What are the temperatures here in summer? Can get into the mid 30, sometimes 40 degrees. Don't ask me about Brits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I mean, we get the climate uh, pretty much the well, temperatures. Well, like the, yeah. the, the temperatures in South Africa react uh, or could create more heat within the South African um, EV mm. lithium ion batteries. More so than it does in Europe because Europe's got a cooler climate. Okay, makes sense.